Johnny Niez says, what's good, Cam? Oh, hell, razor force and taxation is theft. Oh, my God. Yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> God, I, I, my friend Zia, we have a show every Saturday and we get on taxation is theft every yeah. Saturday. <laughs> like, well, yeah, if you're both independently employed, it's foremost in your mind. The government makes sure of that. Shit. Yeah. And it's like, oh, they're they're uh, putting all these new people in, in the IRS or recruiting all oh. these people or hiring all these people definitely to go after the billionaires. No, they're going after that guy that pays you $600 on PayPal. Yeah. That's who they're going after. You think Biden went after PayPal because he's worried you know, whoever Bill Gates is doing a lot of PayPal transfers. No, fuck no. that. It's suburban moms and shit. The, that's who he's going after. He's going after everyone. And it's going after people that mentally are, are terrified. Like, dude, I'm used to it by now. But the first time I got a letter from the IRS after I had paid in full, I got a letter from the IRS like six months later. And they're like, hey, we've uh, reevaluated your uh, your tax returns. I don't know why they still call it return. Um, and it's like, and you owe 5,800 more dollars. And I'm like, what? Real quick, this is my alt channel, and my main channel is in danger every day of getting banned as a result of talking with these amazing people very candidly. So please do me a favor and subscribe down below. Helps me out a lot. Get the hell on it, doggone it. Are you, dude, are you, are you like me? Do you literally have like a side fund for just that yep. kind of bullshit? Yep. 100%. I, I literally do that all year. I just stack cash just in a separate account. Cause I know some IRS bullshit is coming. Yep. And it happens. Yeah. It happens every year, sometimes a couple of times. And it's, they're preying on people that are like terrified. Like they're going to go to the prison. So they're like, well, you know, if we do, if we send this to these people, these are the people paying. And then I have friends that'll tell me they haven't, they have not filed their taxes in 10 years and they make like a lot of money. Oh. And I'm like, fuck, <laughs> this isn't fair. Yeah. Abolish the IRS, please. God, yeah, I had a, <laughs> I had a grandfather on one side of my family who uh, <laughs> was deeply Italian and ran a waste disposal business. Didn't pay taxes a day in his life. Didn't pay for it until the very, very end when he was already almost out of out the door, right? He was almost dead. And suddenly the feds catch on. Hey, wait a minute. This guy's a fucking open shirted gradient sunglasses, gold chain around the neck, fucking mafios. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. This guy should be paying some goddamn taxes. Uh, yep. That's shit. what no, that, that literally happened. Yeah, if you're like a mobster, that's what they do. It's like, oh, we think you killed 90 people. And it's like, ah, yeah, maybe. But you don't have no proof of a copper. And they're like, all right, well, you're going to jail for like tax evasion. Well, like, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Arizona used to be like run by the mob for a while. Like, you know, fucking Sammy the Bull came out here and he was running a whole operation out here. It was a whole thing. Yeah, dude. I remember, um, I remember reading a story where this guy. He went to like this Italian pizza joint, like in this like rundown area. And he goes in and there's no one in there. And he walks up and some guy like walks up and he orders a pizza. And the guy was like so surprised, like asking him, like, are you sure? Like you want like so he had to go back there, make a pizza for this guy, and it looks like the place has never like made food before. And then he like leaves and he's like, It was a great pizza. And I'm like, that was definitely a front for the mob. It's not a real place. <laughs> it probably was a good pizza though. He said it was the best pizza he ever had. Because <laughs> that dude's I, I back there, like, finally my time. Because he, right. he's, like he's the guy that runs the like the the shop for all the like big guys. So he's over there, like, I'm finally gonna make an impression. Yeah, yeah, it's a great piece. Yeah, you know, finally, Nunzio's time to shine. Shit.